This video is all about Ali Reza Firuja. He is a participant of the Candidates Tournament 2024, even though he is very young. This is his second Candidates Tournament. And the game that I choose is against Magnus Carlsen when it comes to uh, see and to show the best game of Ali Reza. It should be this one. So here we have Ali Reza with the white pieces, Magnus Carlsen with black pieces, one e4, Magnus goes with d5, a scan d, and white just took here the pawn, invited queen into the game, and knight to c3. My personal opinion about this opening is um, um, I don't really like to get the queen into the game too early, maybe because I have the tendency to blunder the queen. Um, maybe that's the reason, but in general, it has been told that it's not good to develop your heavy pieces. It's better to develop first your minor pieces. But there are a group of people who really love this opening, and Magnus Carlsen might be one of those. He actually tried this opening against Ali Reza. Um, Perhaps he will never do it again, but we will see that. So knight to f6 has happened, knight to f3, bishop to f5, and knight wins to e5. Now white's next move is bishop to c4 to hit the pawn on f7. So black has to go with e6 to uh, cut this diagonal. And Alireza here goes with g4. Very nice. Very aggressive, attacking the bishop right away. His king is in the center, but he doesn't really care about that. All he cares is the bishop on f5. It is quite limited and black has to be very careful in this position. Carlsen goes with bishop to g6. We have h4. The idea is to play h5 and to try to annoy this bishop on g6. So here black goes with knight to d7. We have knight d7, knight d7 and h5. The bishop is almost dropped, but there is this move bishop to e4. And just because the uh, queen pins the knight on c3 this bishop uh still can be alive now the rook is hanging on h1 so white just castled and made sure that the king is safer now white's king is way much safer than the black's king in the center black goes with bishop to d5 as it was hanging on e4 knight takes the uh, bishop pawn takes the bishop and here at this point alireza has perfect bishop advantage but his pawns are way too pushed on the king side that's exactly where his king is located so it is actually double edged position uh alireza goes with bishop to d3 and carlson plays bishop to d6 um is he looking for short castle uh if Black here short castles, then that's going to be very nice for Ali Reza because he already has those pawns on the uh, other side of the board and it's going to be a very fast attack on the king side. So after queen 2, f3 here, Carlsen just decided to castle on the long side and to make sure that this king is safer here. The pawn on f7 is hanging, but please don't take those kind of pawns because it will uh, expose the white king even further. Uh, like for instance, if you take this pawn here, if you take this pawn here, and if you take this pawn here, then it's going to be already game over for white as you're dropping the pawn on g4. You can take, of course, on e6 and attack the bishop on d6. This is possible, but is it worth it to take so many pawns? Probably not so much because uh, black can have really nice counterplay on the king side. So instead of this, after long castle here, Ali Reza went for bishop to e3. He wants to develop his queen side pieces and perhaps to play somewhere c4 to expose the king on the queen side. We do have g6. Carlsen wants to open up the king side and that's why Ali Reza closed it with h6 and after rook to f8, he goes with a3. He is cooking up the queenside attack with b4, c4, c takes d5, and so on and so on. f5 has been played, and we have c4 right away. e5 and b4. Those pawns are looking actually quite crazy to my eyes. Um, I've never seen such a pawn structure, and you guys can feel how uh, sharp is this position. All the pieces are hanging. Everything in this center is under the tension here. Magnus Carlsen went queens to c7. Uh, c5 has been played uh, to attack the bishop on d6. And after bishop goes on e7, we do have b6. 
bishop to b5. This is actually a very interesting um, decision by Ali Reza because most of us would just take the pawn on d5 and open up the uh, c file. What is the idea of Ali Reza here? We're going to check it out. e4, queen is hanging, f4, bishop is hanging. Now bishop to g5 is uh, preparing e3 and Ali Reza goes with c6. So this was basically his idea to open up the c file on his terms. Uh, now knight goes on f6, we do have c takes b7 check, queen takes and rook to c1. The king is in danger, king has to go on b8 and here we go, bishop to c6, queen is under attack, queen has to go on e7, rook to c5, now rook gets into the game, bishop and the rook are already into the game, this king is uh, wide open but black also have some kind of counterplay on the other side of the board so this is still not... Uh, over yet e3 has been played to open up the center pawn takes pawn takes and bishop to e1 this bishop actually found a very nice square on g3 to give a check knight e4 to stop that happening and we have queen to h2 there's a check anyway king is almost dropped there if you uh if you go knight to d6 in this position we have bishop to um g3 and you cannot freely play queen d6 or uh, rook to d6 because you have to be a bit careful on the back rank so king went to c8 and at this point Ali Reza made the fantastic move bishop to d7 a bishop sacrifice and inviting the king on d7 if king goes on the other side then the queen gets into the game and there is a checkmate in just uh, next move so this check happens and then this checkmate happens or if king goes here on a6 we do have also rook to a5 checkmate so basically Carlson has to take this bishop here we have a check king goes on a6 and that's a checkmate next move uh, by Ali Reza Ferruja and I believe that this is one of the best games that he has ever played. Uh, seeing all of this, how crazy he can get the teacher's word, we can uh, consider him as one of the favorites of the candidate tournament. I wish him best of the luck. Thank you very much for watching the videos and I'll see you in the next one.